Hello everyone, this is Shokura Zohe Koku aka Comment, and welcome back to our last play of A Date with Death. In the last playthrough, we have met uh, a certain cute Grimmy once again and we played 20 questions with him, in which he's kind of. <laughs> We learned more about him and also he learned more about us, so that's equal or strange. <laughs> and now we will continue on to our journey to learn more about a cutie through video chat this time instead of the voice chat. Let's go! In common call, accept yes or yes. You called me so suddenly. Did you miss my face that much? Yes, is there something I can help you with, little reaper? I was simply bored of typing out my responses to your stupidity. That's a little rude. Mean, but fair. That's a little rude, sir. You are the one spouting nonsense. I know you don't really mind. You wouldn't talk to me all this time if you did. You'll just take my soul and be done with it. Right? Ugh. There's nothing wrong with taking my time. Someone's struggling. I'll take it when the time is right. Mm-hmm. You appear to be running low on time, though. Two days and then your soul is mine, remember? I do not struggle. That will not be happening. Oh. I'm still looking forward to all soul baby, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> the soul baby appears once again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so baby! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're still going on about that! It's not a thing! It will never be a thing! It isn't happening! <laughs> it's already been decided! We're gonna make it happen! Yes! No! <laughs> he is blushing so much. <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Say yes as many times as you want. It's still not happening. I'll cherish it and raise it well. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> I think I'm going to die of laughter. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> wow, well, you haven't taken my soul yet. So... I may as well mentally prepare myself for the baby. Oh my god. You better help. You're a crumbly thing, but I know you'll be a good soul fighter. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. If you stop talking, you would improve as a person tenfold. <sighs> that is enough meaningless chatter. What were you doing, Moto? Right now? Talking to you? Um, uh, looking at you? That much is obvious. You and your small brain. It's very brinkly though. And brinkly means that I'm smart. <laughs> so, whether if it's small or large, as long as it has, has a lot of wrinkles, then it still means I'm smart. I meant before that. I apologize, I forgot I have to be awfully clear with you. Someone's being nosy. Why do you want to know? Just answer the question. 
All right, Mister Insistent. So demanding, such a bossy boy. Well, hmm. Before your fifty questions, there wasn't fifty. It was nowhere near fifty. Are you that poor at counting? At counting? Your nearly fifty questions. I was. Well, not doing much actually, hanging out around my apartment. Luis was acting a little strange earlier. I thought he might be getting sick, but he burped right up. I suppose I just have a healing presence. Maybe you do. I actually just got home from work, but I have the next few days off. You do. Figured if I was gonna die, I didn't wanna spend my last days at work. But I know I'll be fine anyway. So I'm just gonna enjoy my little at-home vacation. I see. And your plans for later? I'm gonna hit the town and party. Maybe I'll go for a walk or something. Honestly, I think I'll stay at home, playing games, watching movies, sleeping, or something. Perfect. Not them be staying at home in your BJs after all. Do you have any BJs, Grim? Do you think I slept in this? Honestly, yeah. I can't picture you wearing anything else. Of course, I have pajamas. They are black and very comfortable. I could have guessed the color, honestly. What kind are they? Why do you care? I wanna imagine you in them. I bet it'll be funny. You would look cute in pajamas. <sighs> It is a short sleeve shirt and shorts. Are you happy now? Very. Immensely. What about you? Ah, the Green Reaper wants to know what my BJs look like. The same as you, Ashley. Long sleeves all the way. To be honest, I don't sleep in any pajamas. Um, what? <laughs> okay, I yeah, uh, I it's very it's going to be cold, not wearing anything, so I know. I mean, it it also could mean that I don't wear pajamas to sleep, which means I wear other clothes, not pajamas, or I don't wear anything at all. But uh, <laughs> I have a cute little night tie. Wow, this is. Obviously, useful information for my job, of course. Sure, sure. Uh, just by the way that you are blushing right now, sure. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yes. Are you sure it's not for personal knowledge, personal use? Um. So you won't go anywhere tonight. Good. This works for me. Stay right there, huh? Uh huh. What? What happened? What do you mean? Stay right there. What the? Did it disconnect? Oi, Krim. What's going on? Did you accidentally hang up? It was no accident. Oh, just hold on a minute, or a bit longer than that, maybe. Just wait. And what exactly am I waiting for? Just wait. You step back from your computer. You're not sure what you're waiting for exactly. 
but you might as well hang out until he messages you again. You spend a little time with Liz and check the moisture of your spout. Eventually, you can't find anything fun to do while you wait for Graham to get back in contact. Honestly, it worries you a little just how dependent you've become on talking to him. You lie back on your bed, staring at the ceiling. You only met him five days ago, but it feels like a lifetime you've known each other. Putting aside the fact that he's the Green Reaper, you've honestly never enjoyed someone's company as much as his. It's a little confusing. You're having a lot of chemistry with each other, and uh, that's. You're not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. You know full well what this strange feeling in your heart is, but you try to put it aside. As fun as talking to him is, he's still the Green Reaper. You wander back over to your computer. It's been around 30 minutes now. They're still nodding. Disappointed, you go to turn away when you see an incoming call. Okay. Welcome back. Look up. Huh? 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 You look up from your computer out towards the night sky. And on the other side of your currently closed window, you see something so surprising, you're sure you must be imagining it. Oh, I love that. So Hello there. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. Very, very nice in the night nice sky with the moon above you. Lovely. Uh, 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 what the hell? Oh, great. Now I'm seeing things. <laughs> what are you doing here? Now that face is priceless. Well worth the trip here, I have to say. Grim? Don't call me that to my face. Oh, he's blushing though. Ooh, cute, cute, cute. It's embarrassing enough hearing it over all calls. Ah. It's Casper. That's my real name. Wait. Didn't you say it was Uber Trooper uh, secret uh, for something? Why did you give it away now? Uh... Casper. Hello, sunshine. Oh, wait, wait, Casper! Is it like Casper the Goose? Or am I remember the wrong name? <laughs> you look like you've seen a ghost. Oh no! Curse for the goose! <laughs> Maybe I have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> A very cute one. A really pretty one. One that is kind of sexy. Ooh. I'm far from a ghost, Shogra. Are you sure? Certain. So, you're a man to be in sexy then? <laughs> Dang, he's the fluster! Dang! That much is obvious. I am lovely to look at, after all. But it's not as lovely to look at you, though. Ooh. But it's not as lovely to look at as you, though. Oh my, my, oh my, my, oh my, my. Oh, his blurred game is on point tonight. Oh. Which you should know to be truthful. Oh. Because, as you know well, I cannot lie. Ah, uh, am I flustering you? Your cheeks are red. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> nope, nope. Not flustered one bit. It's just real warm in here, you know? Yeah. Very warm in this air conditioning uh, room here. 
a literal sauna. Uh -huh. So hot tonight. Yep. Are you trying to avoid my gaze right now? Stop hiding your face. I'm trying to look at you. There's no need to be shy anyway. You are lovely. There is nothing to be shy about. Oh, 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 oh. You're staring too much. Just stop talking for a minute. Ah. Uh, nice to see you looking flustered for a change. Cream. Casper. Casper then. Yes, Moto. How are you even here? Wait a second. I live on the fifth floor. You do. Not too much of an inconvenience for me, luckily. How are you even standing, sitting, or whatever you're doing there? I'm neither sitting nor standing. I can literally see you on the other side of this window. Congratulations. Would you like an award? But you're fine, I'm floating. What the hell? That doesn't make sense. No more sense, at least. So, being a green reaper is fine. So, being a green reaper is fine and believable. But you. Tr so, being a green. My god. I, I make the wrong voice. Oops! So, being a green reaper is fine and believable. But you draw the line at floating. Alright, fair point. Is it magic? Something like that is quite simple. Can you teach me? I don't think that's a good idea. If something went wrong, it would be my fault. And of course, it would be breaking many rules. Ah, you can just say you care. Maybe I'm just not fond of cleaning you up off the floor. Maybe you just want to avoid admitting you kinda care. No levitation lessons for you. Boo! Wait! Can't people see you? You think I would be so careless? Uh, yes, absolutely. No? I don't know, will you be? I've cast a clumber. Okay... Sell me, of course. Obviously, you've cast a clumber. Are you invisible then? Invisible? No. I've taken another form to everyone's eyes but yours. So, my neighbors aren't gonna see a mysterious man floating outside of my window. If they were to look, they'll suddenly see a raven. Ooh. Okay, that's convenient. <laughs> You should have picked a bat. A raven, of course. Why not something a little more cute? Why would I pick something overly cute? Why wouldn't you? I shall keep it in mind for next time. But I do need to know. Yes. How exactly did you find me? You think I didn't know where you lived? I never told you. I know everything about you, Sunshine. Uh, if in a normal sense that would be, he would be quite a stalker over here. Because, because he knows everything despite us not telling him anything. So very stalkerish uh, scenario or um, 
behavior, but on the other hand, this is not normal at all. <laughs> so I assume you've come to claim it. My soul, that is. I had a good run, I suppose. No, I'm actually not here for that. Are you sure you can't fly? No, you aren't. I know you can't fly, but that sounds like a lie. It's not. I know. Did you just drop by to say hi then? No. I'm here because... Ooh, blushing. Blushing. Uh, I have something... Um, something here. With me. Hidden. Something to give to you. Here. <laughs> you are... Is he gonna ask us to on a date? Ooh. Ooh, is this a date? <laughs> That's some pretty flowers, actually. Wow. Let's see, sunflowers and some bruises. Nice. For flowers? What? Why? For me? Is there anyone else here? Yes, you, stupid mortal. You said you like some. Okay, it looks great on you. Wow, so pretty. A pretty man and we're carrying pretty flowers. Nice. You, you got me flowers? I didn't think to ask what type of flowers you like, so... I booked ones that looked like you. Oh, so mmm. The brightest, sunniest flowers I could find. Ah, uh, Casper. Yes, Moto. Thank you. It really means a lot to me. You know, if you want them, you're going to have to open the window. Oh, oh, of course. Will you stay out there? Are you going to come in? Are you inviting me in? I'll promise to try and be good. Um, I feel like it could be a little dangerous. Then please, do come in. Uh, do I am greatly pleased by the invitation. Maybe next time, little human. What a shame, but fine. If you change your mind. But you really have to open it at least a crack if you want these. Keep the window closed or open the window a crack. Let's go. There we go. Aw, that's so pretty. Ooh. <laughs> Very pretty. You're quite the risk taker, aren't you? Are you telling me I should be scared? I'm simply making an observation. What fun would life be if we weren't taking at least a few risk, huh? Here you go, Shokura. Reach for the flowers. Nice. Ooh, hand holding, hand holding. Nice. Your hands are really warm. And yours are quite cold, even through the clips. Would you want me to warm it up? <laughs> They're pretty pretty. How can hands be pretty? What are you talking about? Hands can be very pretty. I'm sure yours is too, especially. <laughs> or that. <laughs> I mean, but, but, but your hands is pretty too, I'm sure. I mean, I meant the flowers. 
but your hands are quite pretty too now that you mention it. Nice. Then I will say your hands are also very um nice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> who would have thought hands could be so alluring? What are you whispering about now? Oh, she didn't hear that. Oh, my. I really must be on my way. I've accomplished the thing I wanted to do. So, Sin? Duty always calls. After still soul stand? Better theirs than yours, wouldn't you say? Ah. No, you can't just hand over yours now if you want. Better get to work before you get in trouble, my little reaper. And since when am I yours? <laughs> Two more days and your soul is mine anyway. Since right now, since the moment we met. Don't be damaging my goods, you hear? So demanding. Casper. Shokura. Do be careful. Since you act so nicely, I'll try my best. Don't forget to close that window after I leave. Wouldn't want anyone crawling in when you aren't looking. Oh, the fifth day completes day five. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> my heart. That was so sweet, my little heart. <laughs> nice. Okay, you went out for a few errands today, but mostly you hung out around home. It was a good chance for a little out-of-season spring cleaning. All day, you kept an eye out for Casper and his attempts to take your soul, but there was nothing. No strange fires, no collapsing elevators, no brakes cut on the bus. Today. For the first time in a long time, nothing strange happened to you. And for some reason, it felt weirder than if something had. Okay. And now we go to eavesdrop on the door to see the sto love story of all neighbors. You hear footsteps from the hallway. You wonder if it's your neighbors again. Eavesdrop on them. You hear a sniffling coming from the hallway, then the sound of someone sliding down the floor. Sa then the sound of someone sliding down to the floor, I mean. I, I just uh, miss misspoke. <laughs> you imagine someone is currently leaning against the doorway of their apartment. You hear a fumbling, the sound of someone digging through the bag, searching for something. Then a sign, a ringing, the sound of someone who desperately seeks another. And then, finally, a voice. Mom, are you there? Can you talk right now? A light and airy voice starts. No, I'm fine. No, I wasn't crying. I just wanted to talk for a bit, if that's okay. Another sniffle. Nothing happened, really. I'm just confused. And I lost my keys, but I'll worry about that in a minute. There's silence for a minute. You imagine that their mother is currently fretting, trying to console their child despite not knowing what's wrong. Have you ever let someone so much that it's made you terrified? I really like them, mom. I've only known them for like a week, but I feel like it's been so much longer, and I'm scared. There's vulnerability in that voice, immense vulnerability. 
Their voice is like a plea to something they cannot see, like a wish upon a star. I want to understand them. I want to make things work, but I'm scared I will make things worse. I'm scared that neither of us are what we expect of each other. The fear of not living up to expectations, the fear of misunderstandings, such human emotions. I know, Mom. I know I should talk to them, but it's too much. It's like there's this weight, this secret between us, and I don't know how to bridge the gap. I think I heard them say something last night, something important, but they didn't open up completely. And now I'm torn between wanting to know and being afraid of what I might discover. An internal struggle, a deep desire. But mom, I can't stay away. I've never believed in fate, but this is—I just—I need some guidance. What do I do? Silence again. You imagine their mother is speaking words of wisdom. Filled with kindness, love, and worry. Okay, I'll go talk to them tomorrow and make a decision. Thank you, mom. I love you. The sound of the call ending reaches you even beyond the hallway, and then there's silence. You hope they find their keys. Okay. The continue is continuing. Okay, okay. Lose. Jake and Luz. Luz seems to be doing well today. You sit down on the bed next to him and think towards the future. If you ever manage to afford a house with the market looking like it is, you would love to get a dog. A bird would be nice. You want more cats? Probably don't want any more pets. I I like to have one only for now. I mean, there's a lot of effort in caring for a pet already, so I like to focus on one. Pets need so much time, effort, and love, and money. One pet is plenty for you. You can buy so much more for something else. Maybe better food for Luz, or a cute little shirt or something for Luz. For now, you enjoy Luz's company immensely. You hope that. Green Reaper in Strange Soul, notwithstanding, you have many fun times ahead of you together. Nice. And then, tell Luz a trick. What's the cat's favorite dessert? You ask Luz. Luz doesn't reply, but you know he can't wait for the punchline. My scream. Okay. <laughs> the puns. Luz doesn't laugh. In fact, <laughs> you think Luz looks to be judging you heavily. <laughs> oh my god! Well, you enjoyed the joke at least. Nice. Okay, your plan. What are your plans? The buzz on your little plan seems to be doing well. You can't believe how healthy it is. Nice. And、uh, bookshelf, pick a new book to read. Diary two, dear diary Z, today I found a huge bug. It was so cool. It had wings and legs, but no arms. Or maybe they were all arms and it had no legs. I don't know. What I do know is that it was the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyways. Something wicked cool happened at school. I was climbing this tree. We call it the tree, by the way, but I don't think that is actual name. But I don't know. I haven't asked. And I was really high up. And I fell. I fell so far. I thought I was was going to die. And I got in so much trouble. Roll off the mouth. The teachers kept saying I could have broken my leg or my back or something, and I was lucky I just got a scratch. What my teachers don't know is that I am totally what the in the in 
indestructible. Nothing can kill me. Anyways, that's all that's been happening. I'm gonna go play now. Bye, Chakra. Okay. Yeah, she is uh, quite indestructible right there. Wow. Such luck. Okay. And then the bed. Sitting on your bed, you have a perfect view of a certain bouquet of yellow flowers that was given to you yesterday. Given to you by the Green Reaper of all people. The thoughts that makes you somewhat giddy. Who could have guessed that strange talking weirdo could be such a romantic? Though you've never received flowers before, we have given them to someone else. Let's see. Your crush when you were 10, a family member, your teacher in middle school. Yeah, it was for the teacher's day. You have always thought of flowers as a special thing. A simple thing, but still special. And you felt very special when you looked at the flowers Casper brought you yesterday. Nice. I love it. Laptop. Check your computer. Okay, wallpaper, anything new? Nope. Gallery. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ah, it's cute, cute. So this is the result. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> and then internet. Oh wait, what the heck? Um, hmm, uh -huh. uh -huh. Only reverse. Um, Casper, Casper. Uh, hmm. Um, I'm not sure how to react to this actually. Um, there, there's a lot of feelings about this. I'm not sure how to react to this. Let's see. Feeling a little catty today. Hashtag kitty cat. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Whoops, I seem to drop something on the floor. Thanks for picking it up for me. Uh, okay, okay, this is like the third strap something. Oh no, don't lift my shirt. Uh, 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 <laughs> I, I see. Mm, I, I see. Early Reefsburg.com and Grim. Uh, the main point is how did we find this? How did we find this though? Mine, my mine. Games, still three games, and that should be it for now. And that should be a good place to pause in our playthrough today. We have finished day five with uh, actually meeting Grim for the first time in person, and not through a video call or through a screen or chatting. And he is absolutely beautiful and sexy, and beautiful and cute, and uh, a mixture of that. Nice, really nice. And um, his flirt game is really on point too. Wowie. I am swooning. Swooning. And, 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 and he gave us flowers. That's important. And it's so, so nice and cute. So was that like a courting gift or, or something else? But uh, I, I really like it. Sunflowers, roses, and... What the, uh, he said it was the sunniest flowers that remind him of us. So, that's so cute. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll meet him soon in the chat room. Or maybe in person soon. Because the, 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 the gift giving was... Uh, our hands touched. It was very nice. Of course, this was a bit cold, but still, our hands touched. Also, uh, <laughs> our protagonist is, is not letting that so baby go. <laughs> that was super funny. I I don't know why, but uh, that part really makes me uh, laugh a lot. It couldn't stop. <laughs> 
I mean, uh, that was nice I did too, you know? <laughs> anyway, that should be it for a date with Dad. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next playthrough of the game in which we might meet with Green again. So, also, we also managed to uh, know his real name actually. So, that's nice. Anyway, bye bye.